Right, we are starting the walk of the river pool now. There's Blue and Peter Thompson, our uh, resident artist. Peter is part of our stable of artists. Um, he's part of the uh, Beckham Place Park School uh, of Art. And um, I don't know what he's going to be doing today, but um, there's the Beckham Place Mansion, which of course, in days long gone, used to be the stables for the big house, which is a mansion which is over there somewhere, which we can't see. And there are the famous sheds, which we are rehabilitating. And there's Baloo, who, who's a lovely chap, and he originally comes from Hungary. Anyway, uh, it's 10 o'clock and I'm starting off on my walk now along the river pool. Okay, bye. Uh, that is the Beckham Place Mansion and we've just come from the Homestead Cap, which used to be the stables. I mean, that, it annoys me whenever I look at it the mansion because that those pillars those four big pillars and the portico the triangle a bit above it came from the Rickle Marsh estate because John Cator in about uh, 1800 decided to stick that those pillars and that portico on the front of what is a kind of big five six bedroom Georgian house and he stuck that on the front. And to me, it's totally inappropriate. Those pillars and the portico should be on the front of a big stately home or something like that, not a blooming Georgian house. It's completely out of proportion, I think. That's my view, anyway. Anyway, I will continue along my walk. Yes, you see, we all, we've got trouble now doing these exercises. We started about 15, 16, 16 years, years ago. ago. Yes. Oh, when we wow. were young and live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite so many eggs and pain yes. when we do it. Yes. And now we're going to do a stretch on the curb. So oh, right, okay. We well, have to find a nice I've just come across these five ladies in Beckham Place Park and they've been coming here for 15 years apparently. Okay, bye. Bye. We're just in the uh, road that links Beckham Place Park with. Um, With Beckenham, really, and this, these, uh, these are the big houses where um, rich people live, and um, and that's that's it, really. And there's there's a jogger, <laughs> and uh, it's very nice, very pleasant. Okay, and we're going onwards. To what, to what was Beckenham Hill Road, which becomes uh, another name of another road. And then we cross that and we go into Cato Park, where the source of the river pool is. Right. This is the uh, lodge entrance to Beckenham Place Park. And that road is actually South End Road. It's what Beckenham Hill Road becomes, South End Road there. It's quite a busy road. We're gonna go just along there and um, we we'll cross the road into the beginning of Copers Cope Road. Okay. I'm in Copers Cope Road and uh, I've just reached a bridge named Bridge Road and uh, we'll be crossing over two separate railway lines um, and then when, when we row the bridge and over the lines we uh, cross the road and there's the entrance to Cater Park. Okay. There's the entrance to Cater Park which as you can see is in Kings Hall Road.
this kind gentleman has agreed to film me while I waffle about the river pool. So if you can carry on, please. And um, what happens is we're in Cater Park and the river, the Chaffinch Brook and the River Beck meet and where they meet is the start of the river pool. That's where the river pool rises. And we're going to walk through Cater Park and then the river goes under the road and then we're going to go to the HSB sports ground. So thank you very much, young man, for filming. Okay, lovely. All right, okay, thanks for that. And that's uh, Cater Park School, I believe, where my son Samuel once did football training. I think it was probably uh, Dulwich Hamlet under 12s. And we're about to go underneath the, uh, the road and then we'll be back in onto the HSBC sports ground with the river pool flowing at the bottom of it. Bye. We're leaving the river pool now and the HSB sports ground and what what joins on to the RBS Nat West sports ground. We're leaving that and this is a little little stream that uh, flows into the river pool. And we are at the beginning, we're in Lower Sydenham and we're at the beginning of Kangley Bridge Road. And there seems to be a load of allotments just over there. Okay. That's the uh, Sidham Sports Crown. Two very good uh, football pitches in good condition, and there's some good quality football players on them. But obviously, not now, as it's Monday morning. Um, in fact, we have played cricket there with Catford Cyphers. So uh, again, my son Samuel, I think, and my son Charles played cricket there. There used to be some good cricket pitches there, but a chap called uh, Ian Jordan, uh, he got involved and they decided to do away with the cricket. They were not were once here, part of Beckenham Cricket Club, but they, they parted on bad terms, I think, and uh, that's that. And here's a, uh, a lorry coming, which uh, has a skip on the back of it. Oh, oh, he's, he's going away again. Oh, never mind. Anyway, he might be back. Well, here is the River Pool again. We're in uh, Worsley Bridge Road, and uh, the River Pool is about to go underneath the road and continue uh, along to uh, South End Park, it's called. It's a small park, quite nice. 
and then it goes under the road. It goes under the road and uh, to what's it called? Waterlink Way. That's what they call it. Which basically is the river pool, and you walk beside that ish and uh, between that and the and the railway line um, up to Catford and then the river pool joins the Ravensbourne and and uh, then it travels on through Catford underneath the South Circular through Ladywell through Jetford and into the Thames okay there doesn't seem to be any sort of uh, path beside the river pool here but um, I'm sure we could change that uh, and uh, obviously you've got security issues with the people who live in these flats which are very nice and enormous and uh, anyway I'm onward I'm back to the park bye <coughs> Worsley Bridge Road and that's the Sydenham High Sports Ground where uh, Catford Cyphers sometimes play cricket. It's a home ground, I think, for the second 11. And um, this is the sports ground, which, uh, and that magnificent big edifice. I'm not sure what goes on underneath there. Football, football, and more football, I expect. And this is the River Pool, Riverside which is, uh, there's a lot of building work going on. I don't know what's happening. I, I suspect under pitch drainage and stuff like that. And that water, I suspect, will go into the uh, river pool. Um, there we go. And it's a lovely day. And it's a Monday morning. Right. right, here we are. Back at Beckham Place Park. I've done my walk along the river pool with some filming which I'm hoping my son Edward will put onto a YouTube uh, video and, and make some sense of it. Um, I left uh, Peter Tomlinson who's uh, a Blythe Hill Borough of Lewisham resident and he is an artist and he's part of the arts colony here at Beckham Place Park that uh, have their studios and stuff and artist stuff here yeah. and um, we're going to see what he's we left him this morning with an easel and instructions to paint something and possibly uh, paint uh, watercolour painting possibly and uh, we'll see what he's got to offer I'll keep the camera on and uh, here we go we're into the Homestead Cafe Can't see him yet. Oh, there he is. There's the artist at work. And I see he's sat down and uh, he's had a haircut. Um, he doesn't. He doesn't want publicity, apparently. <laughs> Not for me. Perfect. Not for you. you. For the pictures. The pictures. Sorry. I wouldn't mind some publicity for my pictures, that'd be great. You'd like some publicity for your pictures? I'd love that, yeah. Okay. And uh, what, what have you produced today, Peter? Well, so far I've been trying to sketch this and it's very hard work. Okay. The, um, the Hampton Cap. Well, that's, that's very impressive. Is that what you've done? So you had two hours? Yeah. And okay. That, that's as far as I've got. Okay. It, the proportions are very difficult. It's very difficult to get all the proportions right. Okay. That's lovely. It's I've beautiful. been working very hard at it. It's a lovely day today, isn't it, Peter? It's beautiful. Would you mind guarding my stuff while I go to the loo? Yeah, go for it. Yeah? Yeah. Goodbye. Okay, thank you, Peter, and okay. thank you for your work. It's a pleasure.